when I come out to hike, um, it grounds me. I have the sense of this is going to be healing for me. This is going to help me overcome what I've experienced. In the hills just outside Perth, Emma Tweedy is trying to recover from a deeply traumatic time in her life. It's not where the 25-year-old thought she'd be after landing her dream job as a truck driver at the Roy Hill Mine in Western Australia's Pilbara region. I was really, really excited. I had only ever heard good things about Roy Hill, especially for women. Emma was employed by a contractor to Roy Hill. After flying into the isolated iron ore mine, she says a male colleague's actions began to concern her. So I was sweeping the crib room one day and um, I had taken my jacket off um, and he had come into the crib room and said, yeah, take your kid off for me. Sometimes if you'd walk past him, he'd growl at you like a dog. Um, sometimes bark at you. Emma says she was left feeling vulnerable after the man oversaw one of her mandatory alcohol breath tests. He's walked into the room and held the breathalyzer um, down by his groin. Um, and as I've entered into the room, he said, um, close the door behind you and assume the position. I took it as a sexual remark. I took it as he was either making a gesture to want to have sex with me or ask for a sexual favour. He has come up close to the side of me and breathed down the side of me and commented, oh, look how cute your little lips are, sort of slid his hand down my back. One night, Emma was put on light duties with the man after reporting she was fatigued. I had fallen asleep in the car and woke up in an unlit pit um, with no machinery around, no one working, and him having a cigarette out of, outside of the car. And you know, telling me to join him for a cigarette. And I just said, no, I was fine and didn't want to have a cigarette and kept my hand on the two-way. I was scared that I was going to be taken advantage of in some, some sexual way. Emma says nothing happened, but she was so rattled by the experience, she reported it the next day. I had expressed those concerns for my safety and my well-being and he laughed in my face um, and thought it was a joke. She says she then received an apology and that person said he'd report it if it happened again. On her second round of shifts at the mine, Emma was told her truck driving was not up to scratch. She said she asked for more training. Soon after, her employer said she was no longer needed at Roy Hill. I had these sort of aspirations of wanting to get into a leadership role. I feel as if I, I most definitely don't have a place in industrial mining. Roy Hill declined an interview with 7.30 but said in a statement, Emma's contract was not extended due to her not adequately performing her essential job tasks, including a significant safety breach. Roy Hill said it had carried out its own investigation and her claims of sexual harassment weren't substantiated. The company says it will investigate new details Ms Tweedy had provided to the ABC, along with any further new information she provides. Australia is at a turning point on sexual harassment and sexual assault. I believe the situation in the mining industry is urgent. Australia's Sex Discrimination Commissioner Kate Jenkins says the incidence of harassment of women in the mining industry is high compared to other workplaces. We found that in the mining industry 74% of women and 32% of men had experienced sexual harassment. 
it's still a culture which is very much uh, based on masculine values and women in particular have found that there is a significant amount of sexism and sexual harassment that they have to tolerate just to survive in that industry. In Western Australia, bombshell allegations of sexual assault and harassment have prompted a state parliamentary inquiry. We've, we've heard some horrifying stories to hear um, from individuals about the need to use furniture to ensure that their door is shut at night because um, they fear for their own individual safety. I hope that uh, the recommendations that we will be presenting to Parliament will be taken seriously. In submissions to the inquiry, mining giants BHP, Rio Tinto and Fortescue Metals Group revealed dozens of complaints. In June, the three companies took part in an unprecedented joint press conference to apologise to victims. Very strong stance opposing any and all forms of workplace rape, assault or harassment at any time. Emma is now embarking on a career away from mining. Next week, her case will be conciliated in the Human Rights Commission, where she's arguing sexual discrimination and unfair dismissal. I experienced quite severe low of depression, anxiety. I've decided to speak out, not only for me, but hopefully it will give other women um, the confidence within their community that you will be safe, you can speak out. I really hope that there's a place, a safe place for women in mining soon. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.